Take a second, wiggle your body, wiggle your toes, be fully in this place. If you've got nice smelling stuff, make it happen. If you've got soft textures, make it happen. If you've got a squeaky couch, maybe try to sit still. Thank you, Dominique. Welcome to worship this Sunday morning. God is here and the time is right. Breathe the breath of life. You are only waiting for this moment to arise. Welcome to worship this Sunday morning. Breathe in as one together we'll sing. Let the church bells ring. We're only waiting for this moment to be free. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your hearts. For the words of God bring change. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your hearts. For the words of God bring Please pray with me. Open the doors we close, O oh God, when we fear those who worship you in different ways. Guide us to unity and harmony so that we may come to respect and cherish our commonalities. Open the paths we ignore, O oh God, when we prioritize financial gain and convenience over listening to the groaning of the earth. Inspire all the care for the world you have made so that living things might thrive. Open the rooms we lock, O oh God, to those who live without homeland or place of safety. We pray that generous nations offer refuge and peace for all. Open the hearts we close, O oh God, to the cries of those in pain. We pray for those isolated physically or emotionally through incarceration, addiction, mental illness, chronic suffering, grief, and all in need. Open the ways of love, O oh God, and in the pursuit of peace throughout the world, and bless the efforts of first responders, healthcare professionals, activists for women and children, and relief workers, especially for those who find themselves in harm's way. Open the way to eternal life, O oh God, as we remember those who have died. Free us from the fear of death, that we embrace the peace you have promised. Lord, in your mercy. With bold confidence in your love, almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Amen. Hallelujah, praise be to Christ, praise be to Christ, praise be to Christ. Hallelujah, praise be to Christ, praise be to Christ, praise be to Christ. Our gospel reading for today comes from John, the 17th chapter. After Jesus had spoken these words to his disciples, he, took, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those who you gave to me in the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given from me is from you. For the words that you gave me, I have given to them, and they have received them and know the truth that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. And I am asking on their behalf. I'm not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. Word of hope, word of life. Thanks be to God. Well, everyone, we here in San Francisco, at least, are uh, doing another week of sheltering in place. And we are pretty lucky that we like each other still, and that we like our place that we live still. Um, and so I am very grateful. I couldn't be more grateful to be sheltered in place with a couple of folk like you, um, and to be doing worship from the living room with folk like you all who are worshiping with us. Today I thought that I would share with you some of the thoughts that I had um, shared at a wedding recently that I presided at outside from a very far distance from everyone in Oakland. In, in part because this time of year is, is one that I think is really interesting. We are celebrating a time in between the Ascension of Jesus, which is in this painting, the Ascension of Jesus where Jesus floats up into the sky and the famous Church of the Ascension has just Jesus's toes at the top of the building. And you can see Jesus just barely in this world but also in the process of being in heaven. And then below the feet in this painting is the fire of Pentecost, which is what will happen next Sunday, the time when the Holy Spirit 
is able to come to the disciples and give them the words that are needed to be spoken, the exact right words, and to simultaneously translate them into all of the languages of the world all at the same time. So knowing that we are now, this Sunday, celebrating the time that is sandwiched in between when God was here on earth in physical presence and then went to heaven, left us to be the embodiment of God and to care for each other, and that coming oh-so-soon time when the Holy Spirit gives us all the right words in all the right languages for all the people who need it. And I don't know about you, but sometimes during the sheltering in place time, it feels a little bit like we are in between those worlds of feeling all of the different ways that we used to live when it felt like God was so present, or maybe more present than now. The little kids on their ways to school, the laughter uh, that kids would have, the smiling faces of couples in love outdoors, and just being alone together in our separate houses, it's a little bit harder to just randomly encounter folk on the street who are the embodiment of Jesus, as we are reminded in Matthew 25, that all that we encounter when they're naked, when they're afraid, when they're hungry, it's Jesus. But now, when we walk down the street, we are seeking to be as distant from them as we can without getting hit by a car and wearing masks and making sure that we're staying safe. And so we're not living in a time that's very conducive to just bump into Jesus, to just notice Jesus in the world, unless we are particularly looking for it. And so during this Sunday, when we're in that in-between space, between having the answers of exactly what words to use and Jesus physically being here to care for us in person, we are able, I think this Sunday, to borrow the things that feel better. And so we sing the, the tunes from Beatles Mass with the words that have been adapted because so many people of different generations find the, the Beatles songs beloved and it connects to us in a different way than some other things might. <coughs> Pardon me. So I promised you that I was going to tell you a story about a wedding, right? Um, because at the wedding, one of the things that I had done is I had researched what are the things that the couple loved. It's a little bit easier these days because social media exists and you can kind of look up their favorite things online. And so I did. I looked up some of their favorite things and I knew the groom a little bit better than I knew the bride. And so I really focused on learning some of the things that the bride likes. And I scrolled back through her history and I found this very perfect quote and a picture that went along with it. And I thought, yes, those are the words that need to be preached at their wedding. And so I took the song that it was quoting and changed it just slightly. And in order for this to work, I will request from you what I requested at this wedding is you have to imagine that I am in fact Judy Garland and that my voice will be as good as Julie Gar Judy Garland's. Uh, because these words, I think, are the words that we need right now for this middle space that we're occupying. And it's in the words that I rewrote for the wedding. Ready? Have yourself a merry little wedding. Let your heart be light. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little wedding. Vince and Anita Gay. That was her lesson. Next year, all our troubles will be miles away. Once again, as in olden days, happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who are dear to us will be near to us once more. Someday soon, we all will be together, if the fates allow. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. So have yourself. A merry little wedding now. I did it. I sang a Christmas song at a wedding that happened in May. Because in this time, when the words are hard to find, when joy feels distant, as we approach 100,000 deaths from the coronavirus, and it feels so easy to just get stuck in sadness and depression, like we fell into a pot full of flu. If there are places where you find joy, dwell in them. If there are songs that speak to you, borrow them. If there are words that get close but aren't quite there, don't care. Don't care at all that it's slightly off. Take every word you can find from poetry that inspires you. Take every song that has ever moved your heart and lifted you. This is the time we need to beg, borrow, and steal all the hope from every place we can scrape it from the bottom of a burnt pan. Don't worry that it's not original. This is not a time when we are required to make the art ourselves, but we can Google it and look at it and be delighted by it. When hope finds you, even if it's the wrong holiday, dwell in it, keep it, hold it, place Christmas songs on repeat, unless this will make your relationship with those you are sheltering in place with difficult. And then you'll have to come up with some sort of compromise, a communal way that you can share hope and love and joy out of season. If you need to put your Christmas tree back up, put your Christmas tree back up. You got the time, and where else are you going, right? Those words that spoke to me uh, from 
Anita's Facebook page, where until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. That's what we're doing, right? We're kind of making this up as we go along. How should we shop in the grocery store now? Mm, we'll have to muddle through somehow. Anybody cooked things from weird ingredients in their house? Because you had to muddle through somehow? Anybody find new and interesting ways to create a face mask because you have to muddle through somehow? Has anyone gone to work at the front lines afraid because their vocation calls them every day to muddle through somehow? Whatever you change the words to in this song, I hope, I hope that that belief that we are not alone during these times can come to us. During the wedding, the reason this was my favorite moment is the bride, when I mentioned, meet me in St. Louis, kicked her husband-to-be. <laughs> kicked him out of joy, thinking what a coincidence that this pastor who doesn't know me very well knows my favorite movie. Right? It was the kind of kick that you give someone like, when you grasp and you hold your breath and you know it's going to be your favorite part before it even happens. It's the kind of kick you can do to someone you love because you just know you're so excited you have to tell them what's going on. Stop kicking each other. <laughs> it's not okay. Those words speak to me and perhaps speak to you as we dwell in this time between God being palpable and close and the words being easy and translated. I'm going to sing it again because I think the words are pretty good. But this time... I think we'll say, uh, I don't know, shelter in place has too many adjectives. Maybe we'll say ascension. That's a lot of adjectives, too. It's our last Sunday of Easter. Next week, it's, it's Pentecost. Let's say Easter. Okay. Have yourself a merry little Easter. Let your heart be light. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Easter. All of us today. Next year, all our troubles will be miles away. Once again, as in olden days, happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who are dear to us will be near to us once more. Someday soon, dear church, we'll be together, if the fates allow. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. So have yourself a merry little Easter now. I love you. God loves you. There's nothing that can change that. You are so blessed as we figure out all the ways we're going to muddle through somehow. Amen. 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 Should we sing some more, guys? Yeah. I want to see pictures. If anyone actually puts their Christmas tree up after this, I want to see pictures. Let's do some. Oh, I'm supposed to remind you. I always forget um, that if you want to participate in the offering, uh, there's a link at the top of my Facebook page if you want to participate in that. We're going to do our prayers of the people now. I'll do my best to read them while I'm singing. And then we'll add them at the end. Let prayers rise like incense through the church while we repent. Spread forgiveness on my made of lies. Our leaders of all kinds, bishops, pastors, civic minds, families, pets, all humankind across the universe. And so we pray together. God is gonna change the world. I am gonna change the world. You are gonna change the world. change the world. We are gonna change the world. And so we pray. 
For whom and what else do the people of Grace pray? We have prayers for those in Montgomery, Alabama, who are running short of ICD beds. God, in your mercy. We have a prayer for all of the veterans and those who have served our country, particularly those who have lost our lives as we celebrate uh, this Veterans Day weekend. God, in your mercy. We pray a prayer of, of medical minds to get together and search to find new ways to treat cancer, and particularly ways that work for all who are suffering and are needing to change course. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. I pray for Melody. Prayers for Grandma Melody. I pray God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Prayers for Auntie and Uncle George. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, that they may be surrounded with healing and health and hope. God, in your mercy. We have prayers for the homeless, that they become homeful. God, in your mercy. With this and all that we hold in our hearts and all that will be shared on the live stream as people watch this service throughout the week, God, we lift up to you. Bring us strength to muddle through. Amen. 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 All right. A place say it to me all our kin in Christ. A place say it to me I want to shake your hand. I want to shake your hand. Yeah, yeah. I want to shake your hand. Maybe let's just Say peace be with you in the chat box instead. But around here, you guys can shake hands. The peace of Christ is with you, also with you. So please get off your seat. Share a side of God's peace. Give me hugs. Share a side of God's peace. Share a side of God's peace. But please say to me. Say to me, want to shake your hand. Well, we uh, have pre-consecrated our communion here in this space, knowing that we would be sheltering in place. And so as I sing the words of communion, the kiddos are going to hold the elements the way the pastor would have if we were worshiping in a church space. And you might not know all the words to be able to sing along, but you should be able to sing on the frame. Na, 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 this is true bread of heaven. Yesu, he blessed the cup. His blood creates for us holy kinship. So we remember God's promises to us all. Despite the fall, we all are God's children. Every time you drink this cup, think of Christ and remember all your sins are forgiven.
uh, making some more communion deliveries this week since our communion, our uh, shelter in place has been going on for a little while. We're definitely going to stop by Leah's house. Um, but if you'd like us to stop by your house, you can send me a direct message or put it in the comments here um, if you'd like a communion drop off. May the blessings of the body and blood of Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you all the days of your life. Live forgiven, claim your wholeness, and go in peace. May God's face shine upon you and clear a path before your feet. Praying for tomorrow, go in peace. Blessed and forgiven, children of God, you will always be. Claim your home is going. Bye, everybody.